Kylie, I need to know when you intend on standing on your own two feet for once. It's time you learn to be independent, young lady. Huh? Stand on my own two feet? Be independent? But I haven't lived with you for years now, Mom. Besides, I've been sending you a monthly allowance for God knows how long. I don't want to be rude, but surely if either of us are independent, it's me. Don't get clever with me, girl. It's funny you should mention the allowance, actually, because it's actually that that I'm upset with you about. You've been lying to me this whole time, haven't you? You've got some nerve to do this to your own mother. Lying to you? Me? What the hell? About what? I know it was really your little brother Oliver sending me my monthly allowance all along. He finally confessed to me in floods of tears that it was him sending me a thousand a month for these last 12 years. It might look like he's not working at a glance, but he actually works from home. And it turns out he makes quite a lot of money. Did you know that? What a little star my boy is. That's the first I've heard of it. But because he's so kind, generous, and big-hearted, and because he thinks so much of you as his big sister, he went out of his way to send you the money so you could send it to me from your account and take the credit at a sympathetic consideration for your unfortunate position. In doing so, he made it look like the money was coming from you all along. I can't believe he went so far out of his way to protect your dignity. Oh, that's my Oliver. He's really this the kindest boy there ever was. My unfortunate position? I don't even... Hang on, Mom. Wait a sec. Do you actually believe him? I can't believe anyone would fall for a lie this obvious. Don't be silly. There's no way my darling Oliver would ever lie to his mother. The boy's an angel, and I won't have anyone tell me otherwise. That boy? Mom, please. He's a 26-year-old man who lives alone in his perpetually dark bedroom, surrounded by empty potato chip packets and questionable amounts of used tissue paper. Will you just stop and think about this? Oliver was a kid in middle school 12 years ago when the monthly allowance payments started. He didn't get his first part-time job until high school. Even if this working from home stuff is true, exactly how do you suppose he came up with $1,000 a month for those first few years when he was a child? Good grief, Kylie. When will you ever realize that it's exactly this kind of obsessing over minor, trivial details that causes people to find you insufferably boring? All I'm doing is pointing out the inconsistencies in what you're saying. But I see. So this is how you speak to me after I send you $1,000 a month for 12 years, is it? All right, I understood. You believe Oliver unconditionally, no matter what he says, never questioning a thing. But with me, your default response is to treat me like a liar. I mean, it's not like I was doing it because I wanted you to be grateful. I did it because you're family, and I figured I didn't really mind having to tighten my belt and be careful with my spending if it meant helping you out. Oh, please. Stop pretending like you're some saint, dear. You're making me feel physically sick. Drop the act and admit it. I know it was your little brother sending me a thousand dollars a month all along. I have nothing to be grateful to you for. I see how it is. Well, in that case, I'll let Oliver carry on with the payments directly, since you obviously don't need me to be involved with them at all. Just to be clear, you don't need me to have any further involvement in the payments, is that right? Yes, that's right. Fine, I'll leave everything up to your brother from now on. Actually, it's probably for the best. I think this is probably the best way to stop that ego of yours getting overinflated. You're so useless, so why don't you do me a favor and disappear? It's your thing. You know what? That actually works great for me. I feel like a weight has been lifted off of my shoulders. Goodbye. Hey, is that my scumbag big sister? This is your big brother, and the supreme master of your life, and I have a direct order for you. Starting from next month, you're gonna start adding an extra $500 onto the monthly $1,000 you've been sending to mom's bank account. And also, and this part's important, you're gonna start sending it directly to my bank account instead. I told mom it was me sending her $1,000 a month indirectly through you this whole time. Let's face it, mom's gonna be way happier living with me. I was always her favorite. You can think of the extra $500 as a thank you for my troubles. 
Oh, and by the way, if you're feeling extra generous and want to help out your awesome little bro even more, you're more than welcome to bump that extra $500 up to $1,000 or $2,000. All right, I'm counting on you, sis. The payments start next month. Do I make myself clear? Sweet. I right, peace. Hey, is that my rotten, filthy, stinking sister? You were supposed to start sending me that money today. I just checked my banking app, but nothing went in. Is it bugging out, or are you just being a lazy, dumb slacker who can't even remember what day of the month it is? If it's the second one, stop lazing around and see to it that that $1,500 goes into my account as soon as goddamn hacking possible. Get a move on, bitch. Hey, mom won't stop nagging me about her monthly allowance money. Where is it? Hurry the hell up before I get seriously mad. You're the biggest blackhead dumb bitch loser I've ever met in my life. This is why you never trust a woman with anything involving money. Is it any wonder mom hates you? When you act like this? Get that 1.5k paid directly into my bank account by first thing tomorrow morning. Kylie, hurry up and send me this month's a thousand dollars. Excuse me? I thought we agreed Oliver was gonna send you it himself directly from now on. Why are you asking me for money all of a sudden? I thought you didn't need anything from me. It's not that I don't need it, actually. I'm doing you a favor by allowing you the privilege of sending me the money again. You know, it's not good to rely on your brother to do everything for you, right? You're doing me a favor? Yes, that's right. Me and Oliver have decided that that's what's best for your personal development. I hope you're grateful to your amazing little brother. He's been very kind to you, you know. There aren't many people who'd let you take the credit for sending their mother a thousand dollars a month. No, he says he decided to actually let you take over with the payments for real. Instead of tossing you in the garbage where you belong, he's very kindly giving you the opportunity to prove yourself as a decent, respectable human being and finally serve a purpose to this family. Um, you'll have to forgive me, but I'm a little confused. I don't have a clue what you're talking about. That's fine, dear. You might be too dense to understand what I'm talking about. But all that matters is that you take over from Oliver with my $1,000 monthly payments. I'm sure you'll figure out what's going on before long. Listen, forget all that. Don't overexert yourself with too much thinking. Just send me my $1,000 now. Oh, that reminds me. You'll also be sending Oliver $500 a month, won't you? Why would I do that? It seems like your darling brother's been coming up with all sorts of ways for you to prove yourself as a respectable human being. Think of sending him $500 a month as your way of saying thanks. Oh, it's fine. He doesn't have to help me prove anything. What? I already decided to leave everything involving the money to Oliver. Even if neither of you see me as a respectable human being, I seriously couldn't care less. Kylie! I guess you could say my feelings regarding anything involving the two of you have become numb. Dad died three months after I moved out after getting my first job. And with that... You had to buy groceries and pay the rent with no breadwinner. I couldn't just leave you to fend for yourselves. So out of a sense of duty to you as my family, I scrimped and saved. And I did everything I could to get you that $1,000 for 12 years straight. And to think this is how you repay me? By treating me with contempt and disdain? Like I'm a piece of dirt on the bottom of your shoe? I guess you could say my eyes were open. And now I can see you for what you really are. What are you talking about? All we're talking about here is you taking over the payments for my monthly allowance that Oliver has been taking care of until now. You've been free to do what you want all this time while your brother bore the burden. All I'm saying is that the gravy train is coming to its final stop, and it's finally your turn to pull your socks up and pay your dues to this family. You only have yourself to blame for this, my dear. Do I make myself clear? This is your fault, and nobody else's. If you understand... I suggest you send me my $1,000 as soon as possible. Oh, and send Oliver his $500 while you're at it. If I don't see that money by tomorrow, I'll have no choice but to call your company and demand that they start paying your salary directly into my account.
Kylie, what's going on here? Is it true that you quit your job? Huh? Remember how I told you I'd have your boss send your salary to my bank account instead of yours if you failed to pay up the $1,500 you owe us? Since I didn't get my money before the allotted deadline of yesterday, I had no choice but to give your boss a call. And when I did, he told me you quit your job ages ago. I can't believe you'd quit your job just to get out of paying me my monthly allowance. You're rotten to the core. You disgust me. Oh my God, this means you're unemployed, doesn't it? You better not think you're allowed to come back to this house to leech off me just because you can't afford to feed or clothe yourself anymore. You better not go begging to your brother Oliver for any money either. You're on your own now. Was the company you phoned called Duncan Food Products by any chance? Yes, they're the company you got a job with after graduating high school, if I remember correctly. Yep, you remember correctly, but I quit that place half a year ago. Huh? Half a year ago? I read about crypto trading online a few years ago and thought it looked like fun, so I figured it wouldn't hurt to put aside a tiny chunk of my salary every month to play around with the market. Things went way better than I expected, and I eventually got so good that other people online were asking me for advice. I decided to set up my own crypto trading advice forum. Before long, I was making more money than my old job and no longer had the time to balance them both, so I quit Dunkin' Food Products. Wait, you did? Hang on, dear, what's a crypto? I won't bore you by going into detail, but let me give you a simple explanation. It's the future of global finance. I won't pretend to be a millionaire yet, but things are going very well, and I'm making way more money than I ever was at the food company, so I saw no reason to stay. Ah, that's fantastic, dear. So the 1500 you owe me and your brother shouldn't be a problem, then. I have one more announcement to make. I'm getting married. Married? That's the other reason I quit my job. My fiancé is a guy I met at the company. He's Japanese, and he was only ever at our branch as part of a temporary work placement. He's heading back to Japan soon, and I decided I'm going to go with him and start my new life in Osaka. You're marrying a foreign person? Yep, that's right. All of my work is online, so I can do it from anywhere. But sadly for you guys, me and Takeshi are going to have to be careful with our finances, what with moving countries, running a household, and managing my company. So I'm afraid I don't have a single cent to spare. Please, get the money from Oliver like we agreed last month. <sighs> Fine, whatever. It's not like it's the end of the world. I guess Oliver does earn enough that he's been paying me $1,000 a month for the last 12 years. I suppose if that means a tragic failure of a human being that is my good-for-nothing daughter disappearing from both our lives for good, then I should be thankful. Alright, great. So we agree that Oliver will be taking over your allowance payments, and I'll never be speaking to either of you again. Fine by me. One more thing. The contract on this phone is set to end the day I leave America, so you won't be able to contact me after I leave for Japan. Yep, yep. Whatever. I have zero intention of messaging you anyway, so who cares? All I need is my dear beloved son Oliver. The two of us will be fine without you. Right. Bye. Hey, is that my bitch sister? What the hell is this crap I'm hearing from mom? You're not gonna pay her allowance? What are you doing? Not only that, but you're moving to Japan? What the heck in heck are you playing at? I knew you liked anime, but I didn't know you were this much of a weep freak. You're free to go wherever you like, but let me make one thing clear. You will be paying me and mom our allowances. $1,500 a month. No, 2000 Actually, $2,500. Yep, that's right. I'll very kindly let you off the hook for your abominable behavior for the low, low price of $2,500 a month for the rest of your life. Why does the amount keep going up? Ha <laughs> ha! There you are. You finally replied. Where's my money, bitch? Oh, that's strange. What is? According to what Mom told me, far from being the unemployed neat loser I thought you were, you're actually a high-rolling homeworker earning a fat paycheck with nothing but your laptop. The $1,000 I foolishly thought I'd been sending to Mom every month for the last 12 years was actually coming from you all along, right? Huh? 
No, no, no. Wait a sec. That's just the story I told her. But Mia Mom just agreed that she didn't need me to send her money ever again. And she said she's totally fine with you paying her that $1,000 a month from now on. She disowned me and agreed to never speak to me again. She did what? You've always been on her side, right? So naturally, this automatically means me and you will be cutting ties too. What? No, no. If you do that, oh my god, the monthly allowance. You make big bucks working from home, right? You've been paying mom $1,000 a month for the last 12 years, right? No, that was... Anyway, I'm a little busy right now. See ya. Kylie, I need some money, please. Oliver's been lying to me. He lied to me about everything. He said he lied about working from home to put my mind at ease. In light of the little white lie he told me in good faith out of consideration for my feelings, I hereby nominate you once more to pay me my $1,000 a month allowance. Now hurry up and get that money into my bank account. Please. I had less than $100 when I last checked my balance. Things really aren't looking great for your mother here, dear. Ah, Mom. Good morning. Kylie. The contract on my phone's about to end. What? Now? Me and Takeshi are leaving for Japan tomorrow. Tomorrow? All right. I'm going to turn it off now. No. Kylie. Please. Wait. Goodbye forever. I heard everything I'm about to tell you from my Aunt Sylvie, who received a desperate SOS message from my panicking mother at 2 a.m. in the morning. Apparently, my mom and Oliver drove out to Denver Airport in a crazed rush to try and track me down, and were picked up by security after running around the terminals, accosting strangers to ask whether they'd seen a woman with red hair and an Asian man. Aunt Sylvie said the plan was to stop me from leaving for Japan, but in the usual fashion, they hadn't stopped to think about the consequences of their action. They realized the gravity of their situation when it dawned on them that they'd spent my mom's last $100 filling up the car with gas to get to the airport, and were now stuck hundreds of miles away from home, having no choice but to call Aunt Sylvie begging for help. The funniest thing is, we left from Phoenix Airport. Unbelievably, my mom even asked Aunt Sylvie to take over the monthly allowance payments, which Aunt Sylvie naturally declined. She called them lazy bums, told them to go to the job center, and totally abandoned them for their sheer brazen arrogance. By some miracle, both my mom and brother managed to find low-paying factory work, and now their status as poverty-stricken depth grovelers is all but confirmed. To make matters even more hilarious, the fact that neither of them have ever had a job before means they spend every day stressed out and angry at their boss, their co-workers, and each other, and most appropriately, themselves. Last I heard, they spent every day spewing profanities and making empty threats at each other in a beat-up house with a severe cockroach infestation. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time.